And weather was an issue for many areas of Nebraska with a mix of heavy snow or slush like we saw here in Lincoln. Channel 8's Philip Cotafamo gets us caught up on what conditions other parts of the state experience today. Here in Lincoln, residents experienced slushy and wet conditions in the capital city. But how were things in other areas of the state? Over in the city of Seward, snow started falling late in the morning and roads were covered. The snow did let up a little later in the afternoon, but picked back up again shortly. The main roads were again snow covered, as were residential streets. Up in David City, it was a much different story. The storm started out as a mix of sleet and freezing rain, but changed over to snow in the mid-morning hours. By noon, roads going in and out of the area were covered in powder. During the snow, there were periods of sleet mixing in, but for the most part, it was snowing steadily. Late Wednesday afternoon, there was around two inches of snow. For many of those traveling west in the state, Kearney ended up becoming a forced rest stop as a combination of snow and ice fell throughout the night, causing state patrol to close I-80 starting at Kearney all the way to Wyoming and then extended it to Grand Island. Because of this, many hotels and rest stops began to see an influx of travelers seeking shelter. We also received a lot of photos from viewers in our inbox. Allison Harms of Kearney shared this photo of her snow-buried pup. Jane Foster of Bartley showed us a shot of her backyard. Kaylee Pothoff of Indianola shared this white-dusted bovine friend. Megan Kelly of North Platte may want to reconsider taking the kids out on a bike ride. And five-year-old McKenna Hunt of McCook can be seen knee-deep in snow. I hope she brought a shovel. If you do have to travel, make sure to check 511 for the most recent up-to-date information about what roads may or may not be open in your area. Reporting in Lincoln, Philip Catafamo, Channel 8 News.